So there it is, John H. Cheap going to make the brew pub deep dish, Chicago style. This is a pepperoni, sausage and pepperoni. A deep dish crust topped with mozzarella cheese, Italian sausage, pepperoni, rich tomato sauce, and Parmesan cheese. I'm glad it's rich tomato sauce because that poor tomato sauce just doesn't cut it and usually comes on a frozen pizza. I'm going to pull it out here. It's wrapped in plastic. That's a nice little pie. Looks a lot like the ones that we... We get from Chicago the Lou Malnati frozen. This one even looks like it's stacked up pretty high. So there we go. Now, the instructions, I've never seen anything like this before. This is the baking instructions. Preheat the oven to 400. I'm heating the oven up right now. Remove pizza from carton and wrapper, place it on a plate and microwave on high power for four minutes. Never heard of that. Be careful, the plate may be hot. After that, you let it rest for one to two minutes, then put it in the oven for 17 to 22 minutes. So I got it on a plate. I'm gonna microwave it on high for four minutes. All right, so there we are, four minutes in, and I mean, it's essentially defrosted. It's hot on the bottom, I will tell you that. Now we need to try and slide it kind of stuck a little bit there on and I always do it on a, a scrim or a you know I don't know what you call this but a pizza rack and then into the oven once we hit 400 and that'll go for 17 to 22 minutes till that crust is golden <laughs> what are you doing I was just looking at the bottom what's the bottom look like Okay. Looks like the bottom of an undone pizza. So there we are, Chicago style deep dish from Brew Pub. This is supposed to be five servings. I'm thinking it's uh, probably closer to two to three. I let it rest for five minutes per the instructions. So now we'll give it a cut. This first cut in the crust is always tough. You gotta like, <clears throat> just like that. As I said, this is pepperoni and sausage. I'm a fan of Chicago pizzas with sausage. That crust is kind of tough to cut through. I don't think we'll be needing this. I'll go right here. I'm going to try a piece of that sausage first since it fell out. The sausage isn't real hot heat-wise. I hope the pizza's done. Dive in. I'm gonna put that back in the oven. That is just like very, it is not hot at all in the middle. And I went, tw it said 17 to 22 minutes, I went 25. I'm going to put this on a pan, crank up the heat, and put it back in, but uh, I think their instructions are a little bit off, or maybe my oven is off. That could be too. All right, so I bumped the temp up to 425 and went another, oh, seven or eight minutes, and now I think it's looking a little better. Maybe the cook time is a little off. Like I said, maybe it's my oven. I don't know. Now I'm going to try it. Get a little piece of the crust here. And then a piece of the pizza. Just the crust. That's a good Chicago crust. Good and dry, crunchy. Not quite Lou Malnati's, but they don't claim to be. All the toppings, very hot. Chewy cheese. Lots of cheese, and that's a good thing. I'm not kidding you, it's that cheese I'm trying to chew. I know it doesn't look that. That's crazy. I'm going to try and get a 
like a cross section here for you. There we go. Yeah, it's got some cheese pull. That's a good pizza. I don't know about the original price of like 11 or 12 bucks. That seems quite high, but for $7.49, yeah, it's a good pizza. It's not going to be your, you know, the Lou Malnati's or the Gino's East or the Uno's that you can get sometimes at the store, but it's pretty good. I'll give it a, I'll give it a thumb most of the way up. All right, so after dining on the Chicago-style deep dish brew pub pizza, final thoughts, uh, it had a lot of dough on the bottom. The Chicago-style I have... You know, it's a thick crust, but this seemed a little doughier, and there seemed to be more of it on the bottom. And a little light on the toppings. That first bite was really good because the toppings had spilled over, I figured out. Um, so, you know what? I love their thin crust. The lots of matzo, the thin crust is so good. But uh, I, I doubt if I'll be getting this one again. I think it's going to be a pass. I kind of give it a C-. minus. Yeah, if you're in the mood for deep dish, it might fill it for you but frozen deep dish is just kind of tough unless you order it from chicago thanks for watching johnny's cheap follow us on tiktok too also uh, instagram and facebook give us a share a thumbs up and a like thanks for watching